For Anaya Bangar, cricket was more than just a sport. It was a way of life, a legacy, and a dream. Growing up with her father, former India cricketer and coach Sanjay Bangar, Anaya's life revolved around the game. Cricket was in her blood, and from an early age, she was determined to make her mark on the pitch. As Aryan Bangar, she dedicated countless hours of training, studying the game, and improving her skills. Her ambitions was clear. To represent India on the international stage just like her father. She pushed herself to the limit fighting for her sport, for her future and for the dream she had built from ground up. But behind the scenes another journey was unfolding. A journey of self-discovery and identity. Ten months ago, Aryan Bangar embraced her identity as a transgender woman and began her transition. It was a moment of liberation, a moment that took immense strength, but with it came new challenges, especially in the world of sports. In an Instagram post, Anaya opened up about her journey, sharing the challenges she faced as a transgender woman in cricket. She wrote, What hurts more is that there are no proper regulations for trans women in cricket. It feels like the system is forcing me out, not because I lack the talent or dedication, but because the rules haven't caught up with the reality of whom I am. For Anaya, cricket wasn't just a sport, it was her identity. But as she underwent hormone replacement therapy, her athletic abilities began to change. Her strength, muscle memory and physical endurance, all carefully honed through years of training, began to shift. The body that had once served her so well on the field was now adapting to her true self. Anaya shared the heartbreak of watching her athletic abilities change, not because she wanted to leave the sport, but because the rules left her little choice. Many transgender athletes face similar hurdles. As regulations often require trans women to transition before male puberty, a difficult but not impossible standard to meet. Anaya expressed her frustration saying the system is setting standards I could not have met even if I would want to. Earlier, Anaya criticized the England and Wales cricket board's decision to ban the transgender woman from women's cricket, calling it a setback for inclusivity in cricket. She explained that her hormone levels are aligned with the cisgender woman and yet her path to professional cricket remains blocked. Her frustration isn't only for herself, it is for every trans athlete who had to choose between their passion and their identity. Anaya lives in Manchester where she continues to play cricket at the county level. While she may not be able to compete professionally in the way she once dreamed, her love for cricket remains unshaken. Anaya now stands as a symbol of courage, a reminder that sport should be for everyone regardless of gender identity. In her words, trans women deserve the right to compete, to play and to thrive. As Anaya moves forward, she carries with her powerful message for the sporting world. It's time to evolve, to understand and to include because sports are for everyone and everyone deserves the chance to live their dream.